With ClickFunnels 2.0, you can streamline your email marketing efforts and automate your campaigns all on one platform. In this tutorial, we'll be walking you through step-by-step -step creating email templates, sending broadcast emails, and setting up automated workflows to maximize your marketing efforts. Let's dive in and see how you can use ClickFunnels 2.0 to boost your email marketing strategy in 2024. First things first, what is email marketing and how is it applicable here with ClickFunnels? Email marketing is the practice of sending targeted emails to a list of subscribers with the ultimate goal of promoting products, services, or content, and even building relationships and driving customer engagement. It remains one of the most effective digital marketing strategies due to its pretty direct approach, allowing businesses to communicate directly with customers and leads in their inboxes. By delivering personalized and relevant content, email marketing can convert prospects into customers and turn one-time buyers into loyal advocates of your brand. Whether it's sharing a new blog post, announcing product launches, or offering special deals, email marketing creates opportunities to nurture relationships and ultimately drive sales. At its core, email marketing revolves around list building, segmentation, and content creation. Businesses typically gather email addresses through sign-up forms, opt-ins, and other lead capture methods. Once a list is established, it can be segmented based on subscriber interests, behaviors, or demographics. Segmentation is key to sending relevant messages to the right audience, as targeted emails tend to perform better than generic mass messages. Email marketing is also highly measurable, allowing businesses is to track open rates, click-through rates, and conversions to optimize future campaigns. ClickFunnels 2.0 elevates email marketing by integrating it seamlessly into the funnel building process. Traditional email marketing tools require multiple platforms for capturing leads, building landing pages, and sending email campaigns. With ClickFunnels 2.0, everything is pretty much streamlined into one platform, making it easier to manage your entire marketing strategy from lead generation to conversion. Whether you're offering a free lead magnet, hosting a webinar, or launching a new product, you can capture email emails directly through your funnels and automate follow-up sequences that guide your leads through their customer journey. ClickFunnel 2.0's built-in email marketing tools allow you to design custom email templates, create automated workflows, and segment your audience for targeted campaigns, all without the need of external email marketing software. By integrating email marketing directly into your sales funnel, you can nurture leads based on their behaviors within the funnel, such as opting in for a product demo or abandoning their cart. The platform's automation capabilities mean that you can stay connected with your audience at every stage of the sales process, ensuring that no lead is left behind and that your customers continue to engage with your business long after their first interaction. So without further ado, let's show you how to get started with email marketing on ClickFunnels 2.0. The first thing you wanna do is head down to the link down in the description of this video. By using this link, you'll get a 14 day free trial with ClickFunnels, which means you can start selling before you even have to pay them a dime. So without further ado, let's show you how to do it. Once I click that button, it'll then take me to this page where I'll enter my full name and my email address. Once I hit the continue button, it will then take me to the checkout page where I just have to enter in my card details and I'm ready to go to get started with ClickFunnels. Now, once you guys are inside of ClickFunnels, this is what it should look like. You have a couple of different things that you can go through here, but I'll go through them very simply. As you can see in the left, we have a sidebar that we can choose from what we wanna do. We have a funnels option, products option, customers option, and a training option. We'll go ahead and head over to the funnels option. This is where you're gonna create the most simplest version of a opt-in funnel, which is basically like a landing page that gives people access to something in exchange for their information typically their email address. In this case, we're just gonna set up a super simple landing page that has a two part, basically where people put their information in, we get that information sent to us, and then they get access to some type of video or asset. So we'll go ahead and click the create a funnel button. And then as you can see, we have a couple different things here. They have a pre-made funnel that we can actually choose from called a lead squeeze funnel, which basically just uses curiosity to generate leads with this simple two page funnel. This is pretty much what we're gonna use if we wanna start doing email marketing. We'll go ahead and select this, which will then take us to this page where it will actually give us a full walkthrough video on how to set up this funnel in the first place. This is super helpful if you're brand new to this and you don't really know how to use ClickFunnels, but I'll show you how to do it regardless. As you can see, we can scroll down here a little bit and see some templates that are already existing, plus a short little breakdown of how this is going to look with the squeeze page and the thank you page. So we'll go ahead and actually choose one of these funnels that already exists just because it's going to be easier to start that way and we can make edits to their already existing ecosystem. As you can see, I'm going to choose one of these down here. We're going to go ahead ahead and go with I like this one, we'll select this funnel. Now it'll install our funnel, which could take a few seconds to get fully set up, but once it's ready to go, we can start making changes. We've now officially installed our new funnel and we can go ahead and start customizing it, but I'm gonna show you how to do the email marketing portion of this. If you wanna check out another video where we actually do a full breakdown on how to customize your templates, I would definitely check it out. It's posted on our channel and you guys can go take a look. But let's head over and start getting our email marketing functionality ready to go. 
Now, the first thing we wanna do is head back to the funnels page and actually go all the way back to ClickFunnels homepage. Once we've done all of that, we'll then head back over to customers and then hit on the segments under the contact section. As you can see, this is our contact section. The only thing we have available right now is the current user, which is going to be you. But as we start to get more opt-in information here, our segments will start to increase and we'll see more contacts. Now, there's a couple ways these contacts will be added. They'll be either be manually added through the actual squeeze page itself, or if you have somebody's email address and they've agreed to you setting them emails, you can add the contact manually by going up to the top right here and clicking the add contact button. Once we click this button, we'll then be asked to enter in their email address, their first name, their last name, their phone number, time zone, organizations, tags, and any other information that might be relevant. Once we have all of that filled out, we'll then hit create contact. Now that we're inside of this, the next big part here is actually starting the email marketing process in the first place. Now, in order to start building our email templates and start running campaigns, we're gonna head down to the frameworks option. Once we click the frameworks option, it'll then take us to this page where we have a bunch of new options to choose from. The first thing we wanna do is head down over here to where it says email templates. This is where we're gonna be doing most of our work on our email campaigns where we can start actually running them in the first place. We'll click the email templates button, which will then take us to this page here. We'll have to fill out a couple of information like our address and marketing email form address needed. So that way they can actually start setting these emails from a place in the first place. Once we have all of that filled out, we'll then head over to these other tabs here like email addresses and make sure this is all correct, topics, email domains, and some SMTP settings. We'll go ahead and head back over to general settings and make sure that this all looks correct. These are basically just our email settings. So we don't have to worry too, too much about this. We want to focus more on actually building out our campaign in the first place right now. Now that we're inside of the email templates category, this is what should be displayed. The first thing we're going to do is hit the create template button. We're going to go ahead and name this template. We can name it just about anything, but I'm just going to call this my email sequence or sec for short. Then we'll fill out the subject, which can be anything. We'll just say emails are cool or email are cool. And then we'll go ahead and click the create template button. Once we click that button, it will then take us into the ClickFunnels email template editing page. This is where we can do a ton of things and start editing and make beautiful looking emails that we can send out to our customer base. So the first thing we want to do here is actually this is a drag and drop editor, meaning that if we want to add anything to this email, all we simply have to do is go over on the right hand side here, pick one of these assets that we want to add and simply pick it up and drag it over to its respective place. As you can see here, we now officially have a title block that we can name just about anything and type anything we want in there. Now let's say we want more things inside of this email. We can add something like a paragraph right underneath that by dragging it and dropping it directly below here. This is a new paragraph block that we can start typing and say anything we'd like to say here. There's also some really great tools inside of here too, like an image that you can add inside of your actual emails or a spacer, social icons, HTML code, and a host of other super helpful little sections that you can add in there. We can also add row into our email to improve the structure and even mess with the actual settings as well. We can expand the content area. We can mess with the left or right center justified and even change the background color of our email altogether. Once we have all this this pretty much together, it's pretty much as easy as just typing out the emails that you want to create. You can type out pretty much anything you can think of in these boxes, add images, and really just cater this towards your target audience. Once you have all this good to go, we're going to go ahead and hit the actual publish and exit button. We can even send a test in here if we wanted to, but for the sake of this video, we'll just publish an exit. Once we've clicked that button, we'll then be taken back here to our email template section where we can see that there's a couple of different emails here that we can choose from. Once again, before we hit the submit button though, we do have to provide a kind of simple here plain text version, which again, I'll just type whatever in this case, and then hit the submit button. And just like that, we have our very first email sequence that we can now start injecting and sending out to our actual customer base. In order to actually send this out in the first place, we simply click on this. And then as you can see, we can make edits to this or go to the settings portion down here and have the same option. Now, in order to start sending those emails out, we'll wanna go back to our contact section. This is of course where all of our people are gonna be that actually signed up for our email list in the first place. Once we're inside of our contact section, we then can pick from any of these people that we wanna send an email out to, go up to the actions button and start messing around with sending out emails to them and start to do our email marketing. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, guys, it might seem very complicated to use ClickFunnels to do this, but I promise you it's a lot simpler than you might think. If you wanna get started with ClickFunnels and follow along with this video, the best possible way to do so is by using the link down in the description Plus, you're going to get a 14-day free trial associated with that, which is just going to help you get started with your email marketing efforts. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember that all the links down in the description are affiliate links, and we do earn a small commission that goes directly towards making more videos like this. So thank you in advance for supporting the channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a future one.